you and the boys have recently made a server. You all have your own unique houses, but you run into an issue. You want to send your buddy something. Sure, you could walk 10 steps, but this is the 21st century. Perhaps your grandparents in their day, on their Minecraft worlds, had to actually walk over to deliver their goods. But not here, not today. So this is a system that I'll show you that will mail your buddies things and will do so all in one track. So in our example, we'll have our very own server buddies, SpongeBob in yellow, Squidward in blue, and Patrick in pink. So we'll send each of them a gift. The most important thing here is the stamp. So they'll each have their own stamp and we'll keep that with their gift. So we'll send Patrick scissors and paper so he can play rock, paper, scissors with his house. We'll send Squidward a strongly worded letter about his clarinet playing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, good. And we'll send SpongeBob some snail food for Gary. And just remember the stamp. Okay, now to check to see if that worked. See if I need to re-record the intro and possibly rethink my life. Okay, so SpongeBob got his gift. Squidward got his letter. And Patrick got his gift. All right, let's talk about how this works. The stamp is the most critical part of this. So the first thing we have is an item sorter. In this sorter, we exclusively have the stamps. Uh, if you didn't know, you can rename any item in an anvil, and you can do so a stack at a time, and it only takes one level as well. So the first thing that happens is it takes your stamp, and then it will send a signal to the upcoming rail. When a regular rail turns and that rail powers it, it will switch and turn the opposite direction. So this is how we split what package of items go where. If your stamp correlates with the item sorter, the rail will automatically switch and your goods will take an alternate path. The rail will only turn for a second, so this will have to be timed correctly. So you could set it up like this and it would totally work, but you could also turn the turn part of this 90 degrees and just make the whole thing slightly more concise. This is because when a rail goes over a turned rail like this, they'll do a little spin move and keep going straight. I think this one might make more sense if I just show you on the machine itself. Okay, so here's how it goes. Most of the time the cart will come straight through, spin right here, and then continue going straight. Although, if it has the stamp, then this will flip and it will take this alternate route. So this alternate path, this is where we'll put the hoppers and that's where we'll get the rest of the goods out. Then afterwards, we'll just relink up the rails like this and the cart will continue going on its way. So then this system can just be repeated for each household along the way. This whole system could have a post office like shown here and you'll just walk over and put in your goods, maybe drop off your stamps that you get after other people send you things. Alternatively, this whole thing could be one giant loop that's just constantly going. All you really need is a hopper to connect to the system and then how do you get your stamps back to other people? Well, they could just make their own, or you could put them in a shulker box. That would work as well. Theoretically, this whole thing could be underground, and you could even have like a normal-ish mailbox where you'll pick up your items. The downside would be if you ever wanted to troubleshoot, it's way easier to tell what's going on when it's above ground. All right, that's all she wrote. If you guys learned something, please pass along a like. Otherwise, thanks for watching.